Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm pouring some caramel popcorn. I love to have a snack while I'm bullet journaling and if you wanna grab a snack and get cozy, we are going to set up my bullet journal for the year 2020, which is pretty crazy that it's already here. So for this year I'm using my Ecoline brush pens and I actually got them at the beginning of last year but I didn't end up using them as much as I would have liked to because I really do like the colors. Um, I'm very partial to my Tombow brush pens and I use them a lot but I'm going to try to use these Ecoline brush pens a little bit more this year. So for 2020, I'm doing a simple coffee cup with a floral design, and I'm gonna use that floral design throughout my setup just to kind of make it simpler and easier. This I actually did at the end of setting up my bullet journal. Um, I didn't think I was gonna use a key, but decided that if I put some paper down um, that I can have a key, and if I want to change it, I just take the paper out and do another one later. I didn't end up using my key last year as much as I thought I would. Actually, I don't think I used it at all, but I'm determined to try it this year, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. It could happen. Before I do my floral designs, I actually sketch them on the page, just like roughly, to kind of decide where I want my flowers to go and where I think the leaves would go. And I am not a pro at this at all, but kind of just do what I think looks okay. And I mean, I think it works for me. Here I'm working on my future log. So this will just be where I keep the important dates for the whole year. And so on these two pages, I'm doing January through June. And then on the next two pages, I'm going to be doing July through December. One thing I really enjoy about bullet journaling is the meditative experience you get just by sitting down and doing something over and over again, kind of like writing in the dates for the year. I really enjoy that. Is there anything that you really enjoy about bullet journaling? Also, do you have any advice for me on how to simplify the process? I'm not exactly sure what I'm asking, but Basically, I'm just looking for ways to create my bullet journal in less time. So I don't know if anyone has any ideas, but if you've had some things that you've done that have worked for you, please share in the comments below. That would be amazing.
Every month, um, when I'm reading the Bible, I will pick out verses that either inspire me or encourage me, and then I have a page dedicated to the verses for every month, so I will write them down. Then, every month, I will pick out a couple of verses um, that stood out to me that month, and I'll write them on this page. So I call this page my Power Verses page, and I really found that keeping a log of the verses um, each month really does um, help my thought life and kind of my whole outlook on life. I also meditate on the verses every month, so when I'm writing them down, what I'll do is if I find one that I like, I write it down and then I write it down again. It's a great way to practice your handwriting or calligraphy and um, just also a great way to meditate. So after I've written it down several times, I find that I start to kind of internalize it and then as I go throughout the day, that verse just kind of stays fresh on my mind. So if you haven't um, meditated on verses before, I just encourage you, it's it's not as hard as it sounds. It's really easy and it can really um, improve your mood and <laughs> improve your outlook on the whole day and of course it can bring you closer to the one who created you. And that's kind of amazing. So my last page I'm working on for this setup is my goals page and it was really neat to look back on my goals from this year and see that I met some of them. I think mainly because the years, the previous years, I didn't feel like I met my goals and I'm wondering if it's just because I really didn't write them down. but. Um, or maybe I did write them down and I just didn't meet them. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, so this year I did meet some of my goals and it was so exciting. So I can't wait to do that for 2020 and see what happens. This quote is from one of my favorite books and one of my favorite movies. It's from Anna Green Gables and it's Tomorrow is Always Fresh with No Mistakes in It. Okay, this is so exciting. This stamp I actually won in a giveaway and oh my goodness, I was so surprised. Um, I have a YouTube channel that I follow and um, Kimmy, and I think her name is Vera, um, she uh, and her sisters have this um, online Etsy store called Mind Speaks. And anyway, um, they were doing a giveaway and I won the stamp and I also won this cute little uh, coffee pin holder. And so I can't wait to use all the other things that I won in the giveaway, um, but I'm gonna leave her info in the comments below. So if you wanna check her out, um, her YouTube channel is so cute, I love it. So here is my final flip through. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are excited about 2020 and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.